Hello, it's me again. If you'll give me a couple of minutes, I want to talk to you today about faith. The definition of faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The very fact that I'm going to get a healing is because I believe. That's the proof of my healing is my faith in it that God's going to do it. Um, the proof that God's going to meet my need where I can't meet it myself is the fact that I have faith in it. In other words, I believe it. God said he would do it. So that's it. That's all the evidence that I need. I want to talk to you today, though, about blind faith. Blind faith to Noah was building an ark where it had never rained before. Blind faith to Moses was going back to Egypt where he was most likely a dead man and lead the children of Israel out of Pharaoh's bondage. Uh, for the Wrights brothers, it was that first fateful flight that they lived through. For Christians today, though, blind faith is paying your tithes when you can't pay your bills. I know now, I know I'll get a lot of repercussion over that, a lot of resistance. But for those that you do go to church, you do sit in a pew in an air-conditioned church with lights on, we all know that that stuff ain't free. The bills have to be paid. The church has to be maintained. And if you're blessed with a pastor who is able to visit you and your family when you're in the hospital, who's able at the drop of a hat go to you in your time of need or to do a funeral at any given time or do a wedding at any given time, then you know that man needs to be on a salary and able to do it. He can't hold a full-time job and pastor your church. Well, how do we pay for all that? Well, the saints of God, they go off 10% tithes, the way we always did it. Not going to argue on it, not going to start no theological debate over it, not going to sit here and try to, try to convince people who ain't going to pay tithes anyway to do it. That's not what this is about. But if I don't pay my tithes, somebody else is going to have to. If I'm not going to carry my load, then somebody else is going to have to. Now... If you think that that's a Christ-like characteristic, if you believe that that is the Holy Ghost indeed expressing the character of God's Son in your character, think again. It's not. Blind faith is going ahead and paying those tithes when you can't pay your bills. And the reason I can talk about it is because I remember doing it back in 06, 07 when the economy crashed and because of a couple businesses I had failed I had a lot of debt coming in over those businesses I had two house payments a couple truck payments just a lot of bills but I decided to step out on blind faith pay my tithes and here I am about eight nine years later a lot better off than I was even back then God proved himself faithful I was the one that got myself into that mess but God, being faithful, got me out of it. Paying tithes frees God up to do a whole lot of other things, but Paul tells us that faith without works is dead. You can believe God's going to do things, but if you don't put works behind it, if you don't put actions behind it, then you tie your hands. I've always said that you've got to do what you can. Do everything that you can, and then trust God with the rest. The um, African Impala not the Chevrolet Impala, but the animal that it was named after, is said to can jump 10 feet into the air while jumping 30 feet ahead of itself. It can cover a lot of ground in just a little bit of time. However, that African Impala, as powerful as it is and majestic as it, that it is and amazing, it can be kept behind a three-foot wall in a zoo. The reason is that Impala will not jump where it cannot see its footing and where it's going to land. Way too often Christians are held back because we won't take that leap of faith because we want assurance that we're going to land on our feet. We're going to land feet first. You know, one great writer said this, that a man of faith will risk his life to enhance it. In other words, he's not satisfied with the same old, same old, so he steps out on faith, seeking a greater life and putting his life at risk to do it. I want to encourage you today in whatever area in your life that you're not satisfied with that you take that blind leap of faith and step out and trust God. This is Brother Donnie saying I love you. Pray for me. 
If we're not friends on Facebook, send me a request and um, I'll gladly accept it. Share this with somebody. Leave me a comment at the bottom. God bless you.